Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you, I have a couple of multimeters. Now, at first glance, they might look like the same multimeter, but there is one difference. This meter does not have a backlight, and this meter does. These are um, the uh, notoriously famous Harbor Freight multimeters. Now, this one over here without the backlight is the one typically you can get for free with a, uh, a coupon. Um, but I think it normally sells for $5.95 or $5.99, something like that, um, if you just walk in and buy one without a coupon for a free one. And this one over here, I believe, sold for a dollar or two more. Maybe it was $7.99 or $8.99, I can't remember. But anyway, um, I happened to be at a, uh, an area Harbor Freight Store, and I saw that these with the backlight were on clearance for uh, $3.97, I think, so four bucks. Um, and I had a backlight. So I was curious as to if it really was the same meter as this, but you know, just with the backlight. And you know, for four dollars, I thought I'd get one and, um, and, and see what the differences were, if any. So this one I think I got uh, maybe a few months back and it was a, a free one and uh, it was the one that normally sold for $5.97 or whatever so it's not that old it's maybe a couple of months old and this one I just just picked up um, if you look at the ranges on the on the meter on these two meters everything looks to be the same um, uh, there's a little bit difference in the font size on the on off switch and maybe um, a few other little oddities, but all in all, it, it looks like they're identical uh, meters. I, I did notice that uh, on the non-backlit one, the, the probes were quite different. And I don't know if it just varies from lot to lot or, uh, or what, or if there are, are differences. But if you can see the differences in the probes, the ones at the backlight um, are much, much bigger um, than the other ones. Now the wire doesn't really feel any different as far as one being softer or more rigid than the other. That doesn't really feel <clears throat> any different and the wire um, diameter looks to be about the same. I don't know about the copper inside but uh, um, there is a difference in the probes as you can see um, with the uh, styling and the and the thicker uh, plastic bigger bigger looking probe anyway and also the the ends that plug into the meter are different as well the one without the backlight are like this and the one with the backlight is like this it's got more of a more of a shroud on it than this one does. I I don't think they're probably any different as far as the inside goes, but the outside shroud is a little bit different. So I thought that was kind of interesting that there were some differences there. Let's see, um, we'll turn them on. And I've got some uh, batteries that, uh, that we can uh, test here. Um, it does have a, a battery tester on it and basically it puts the battery under a load and then it gives you a current rating that lets you know if the battery is, you know, what kind of shape it's in. I think um, I have, yes, I have a, a, a AA battery and, a, and a 9 volt battery so we'll try the um, 9 volt battery over here on the uh, non-backlit one first. And according to the, the silk screening on the meter, we're supposed to get 25 milliamps if it's a fresh new battery. And we're getting 25.6 milliamps, so that's a fresh battery. Um, we'll try it over here on the, uh, the other one here. And you probably can't see that display, but there you go. 26.2. Let me see if I can get something just to prop that up with there so you can read that a little easier Let me try that one more time 
There you go, 26.3. So, you know, they're, they're in agreement with one another. They're not going to be exactly the same. Um, the AA battery is 4.4. The, the uh, silk screen says 4 milliamps for a fresh battery. And we'll do the one on the other end here. Oops. Uh, yeah, 4.2, 4. .2, 4. They're, uh, they're about the same. I do see one other uh, difference here now that I'm looking at it, and I don't know if, if this is apparent on camera or not, but um, this, the one without the backlight, the contrast is a lot better, um, and the digits are slightly bigger than, one, than the one with the backlight. But the contrast on this one is, with the backlight is not as good as the one without the backlight. And then I'll uh, I'll turn on the backlight and you see what it looks like. It's it's kind of neat. It's a, it's a bright orange and it's on, and then it slowly fades away. It's like um, it's PWM'd and then it uh, just fades out. And from the time you turn it on to the time it fades out, I think it's probably maybe 10 seconds. So here I'll put it on for you. So that's that's pretty bright. And then uh, it'll it'll just gradually just fade out. So that's kind of interesting how they did that. Um, there, it's just about gone there. So yeah, probably 10 seconds. So all in all, they're very similar, if not identical, except for obviously they must have different displays in them because these digits are definitely bigger than this one over here. And certainly the contrast um, is different on the two meters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'll just turn them off and we'll take these leads off and we'll take the backs off them off and we'll see if it's just the same board inside and one has a backlight and one doesn't. Maybe it could even be modified to add the backlight to ones that don't have it if, if everything's the same. I don't know. So let's flip them over. Uh, I guess the back's a little different as far as the stickers and things but looks looks to be pretty much the same thing so let me just take the screws out here bear with me I mean all in all these uh, meters aren't really a bad deal I mean the one with the backlight is really nice I like that backlight and you know if you can get one on clearance for four bucks you know and you're just gonna use it for electronics uh, you know or Put it in your car or something, it'll be fine, right? It'll be nice. All right. Well, there's the uh, there's the one without backlight. Looks pretty simple. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's different, isn't it? Wow. That is not the same board. Um, you can see the one with the backlight has a pot on it and there's no pot on this one anywhere for adjustments of any kind um, they both have some kind of a you know chip on board blob for the uh, multimeter functions this one has a spring um, let's see oh yeah there's there's some shielding there so that springs probably grounded and it touches the shield and, it, and it's probably shielding this uh, this micro that's about what it would cover and then um, see if this one here for for this one doesn't have any spring or or any shielding at all so they are definitely different um, what else is different well definitely the fuses are different the one with the backlight actually has a little glass fuse with a holder that you can replace and this one has a glass fuse um, that's just soldered in place. So I suppose you could, you know, solder one there to replace it if you had to. But it's not as easy to replace as something like that. Um, also, the um, hmm, the current shunt resistor here is a lot different. This is really a long, big one here in the backlit version and this is a lot smaller in the non-backlit version also looks like they used a different um, 
barrel insert for the leads whereas this has got like two little two little nubs that fit through and uh, and get soldered I'll see if I can zoom in here you can see it yeah so yeah it's it's got like these little nubs that have that are just soldered there and there's there's nothing on the outside of this on the board itself you know the barrels all inside and it's just soldered there with these um, um, little nubs and let's see if I can move the other one over here um, this one you can see that it's got like a lip that, that goes over the circuit board here I guess it would get pushed in maybe from from this side to the other side I don't know but it definitely has a, a lip that goes all the way around it and and this one is just got these little nubs in fact on all of them it looks like only one side of the uh, nubs are soldered the other side doesn't even have uh, have solder on it at all um, yeah so there's a look at that uh, soldered on fuse on that one and um, yeah, there's the chip on board and this one's chip on board and it looks like it's got a cap here and it's got that variable resistor there and and uh, it's got a some kind of circuit here and there's the the wires that go to that um, backlight and it's a much more elaborate it's got um, this brace on the back of the uh, LCD and um, I don't know that you can see or not, but this LCD here is much thicker. There's like another layer that that uh, LED is on, um, like sandwiched um, behind the uh, backlight to uh, to light it all up. I'll uh, I'll turn it on and uh, hit the backlight button and see if we can see what it looks like from this side. Yeah, so that lights it up pretty good. Yeah. Now the other one, like I say, is not nearly as thick. I mean, it's just laying right on that plastic, and there's there's no extra layer there for backlight provision, and there's no um, like strap or whatever that was on top of it, like the other one. So uh, yeah, quite uh, quite interesting on the difference on these. I would have thought, I'm sorry, wrong way. <laughs> I would have thought that um, these two meters would have been the same with one having a backlight in it and one not having a backlight in it. But it looks like they're um, totally uh, different circuits and uh, quite a bit of differences actually. The one with the backlight really looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. Um, looks like it's put together much better than the one without the backlight. So I guess if you're looking at a cheap multimeter and you've got a Harbor Freight in the area, check and see if the backlit version is uh, is on clearance for 4 bucks. And and I guess between the two, uh, I guess I'd, I'd get the one with the backlight. Uh, I guess unless you have a coupon to get this for free. And, well, it's hard to beat free, I guess, isn't it? Anyway, um, just thought I'd uh, pop these guys open and uh, take a look and see what was what what was different and uh, thought maybe you guys might be interested too. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. This is the Radio Geek.